What's up? Hello, How you doing? I'm good. Sleepy, but I'm all right. <sighs> How you feeling? Good. Uh, good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no aches, no pain. Uh, a little bit of pain here and there, but nothing concerned with the hamstring, so that's good. How yeah. good can this team be if you guys keep making 25 three-pointers and shooting 55 percent from the I mean, if we always score like that, obviously really good. Um, but, you know, we got to do a lot of cleanup on the defensive end um, just to get stops because we know now with Kyrie and Luka, we have a lot of scoring power, but we just, you know, have to get stops too. You got any issues with the rebounds or anything like that? Uh, no, I think that's just like a team effort. You know, we know sometimes we're going to be smaller than other um, teams, but that's when everybody has to like come back in, help box out. You know, it's not a one-man job. Everybody got to help everybody out. In the last few years, you know, obviously there were games when Luca and Porzingis both had to go on a couple, of games, a few games. Uh, so last night, when you're kind of, you're part of it and you're watching it, mm -hmm. uh, do you kind of step back and go, "Wow, this is another level." Yeah, a couple of times when you watch it, or especially when you're on a bench and have a little bit more time to observe it, it's obviously like it's crazy to watch. You know the the talent that both of those guys have and the capability of like creating shots, finding others. It's just a lot of fun to watch and obviously fun to participate in. It's like watching a video game, so so to speak. Kinda, yeah. I think like you know. We've been watch, or I've been watching Luca close up now for the last five and a half years, and now Kyrie um, since since the trade, and the way they just are able to finish, it's it seems unreal. Like even yesterday, there was this one play where Kyrie just like split the defense and then had like a tough layup. And I'm like, I don't know how he does it. What are you anticipating on Sunday? You know, with Phoenix and <clears throat> KD on the roster. Now? I mean, they're a different team. Um, you know, obviously two very dangerous players. So we're gonna figure out how to approach it defensively um, but you know it's going to be the same thing for us we have to focus on on what we can do better and we have to like learn how to trust the whole scheme the defensive scheme to find the stops there um, so nothing changes there but obviously like for specific players we're going to adjust a little bit um, but overall we just have to keep focusing on our game after missing so much time and now like having to watch it from the sideline and then come back what did you learn from as a um, I definitely learned from, from this that uh, you can't imitate um, game shape. <laughs> I felt a little bit tired out there or slow too. Um, but, you know, it, it just was a good experience for me too to see like what we can do better, where you can see like misunderstandings on the court and, and where we just have to, you know, trust the coaching staff because um, they have a scheme, they play out the, the whole, um, how you say, like the, the script for the game and, and we just got to do a better job as players to just stick with it because, you know, if you know that you have your guy in the back trusting you, then you have the next guy trusting you and all that. Um, but that's just something that I was observing a lot during those like games. The fans uh, really, every time you can in the game, were really uh, cheering really loud for you. What is that? I mean, it's obviously amazing. It means a lot to me. Um, you know, I, I feel like home here, like people, fans, the 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 club everybody here just treats me well so it's always obviously means a lot what have you seen from holiday in the two and a half weeks he's been here and how do you think he can help this team um well he's a really great shooter you know he understands the game well plays with a very high iq and he's obviously like a defensive force for us too so he will help us a lot um and he, i think he does a really great job you know being here for only a few days and um, positioning himself understanding where he has to be and, and and getting the right spacing for everybody else so um you know obviously it's going to get a lot better too so i'm not concerned about him he's doing a really great job considering the fact that he's only here for a couple of days i mean a lot of recent games opponents have scored like 60 points in the paint um has there any, been any patterns that you kind of noticed that contributed uh, to that I mean, I guess we've got to do a better job on <laughs> taking those away. Um, but that's like, <clears throat> you know, those points are created by different ways. Sometimes it's post up, sometimes it's like pick and roll, misunderstanding of late rear switch or whatever. So we just, that's what I mean. Like we have to like find a balance and, and do a better job in communicating um, with each other on, on getting those stops. And, and second chance points is also obviously like a thing, but that's coming back to the rebounding part where everybody has to come back in and help each other out. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it, Max. No problem. What we got? Thank you. Thank you. Why pick them out for you? Like, look a little more stylish? Uh, may, no, I just thought they – I saw Casey with them on, so I thought uh, if it works for Casey, it can work for me. Everybody healthy? Yeah. Yeah, everybody's good. Good day.
I saw Davis out there doing a little stretching. Yeah, D Davis is back uh, with the contact and, uh, and running. And I, I thought he did a really good job, um, as you can see in the bump, but uh, also with the practice uh, before that, he did everything. So it's good to see him back. Jason, I noticed you guys had three turnovers in the first quarter and none in the second quarter last night. How important is it to keep those turnover numbers down? Yeah, I think uh, since uh, the, well, the game we had 17, that's you know something that uh, you know, normally we don't do, and so uh, to come back, uh, I think against uh, Indiana and have seven, and then uh, last night to take care of the ball. I, I, we truly talk about it. If we can connect the dots, we're going to get a quality shot. It's just a matter of do we make it or not. Speaking of quality shots, shooting 55 percent from the field and 25 three pointers doesn't get any better than that, does it? Yeah, I think uh, last night. Um, against a really good team in the Sixers to be able to get those shots uh, with Kai and, uh, and Luca, you know, being able to get in the paint or being able to create their own shot. I, I thought just the threes uh, were quality, great looks uh, that we got in the first half, but in the second half I thought we got the same shots and Reggie knocked his down uh, that helped us uh, build that lead. Yeah, I was going to say, kind of, Reggie kind of got lost in the shuffle of those guys that hit the you know, four, two guys with 40 points, but he had five three-pointers there in the yeah. second half. Yeah, it's easy to do when, <laughs> when uh, two guys score 82 points. Uh, you know, I think uh, when you saw, you know, LD was at a high level um, and Kai was at a high level, but I think the, the guys that played with them, you know, are going to see that they're going to get wide open looks uh, because of the double teams. And so I think as long as we continue to keep working on that and uh, keep playing uh, a, a little bit faster, I think it helps us. Kyrie went from having his lowest scoring game as an average to his highest. What have you seen in his uh, preparation that helps him like, bounce back? Uh, so quickly? Uh, well, he's a pro, and I, I think in his career he doesn't have back-to-back -back bad games. And so you can see that uh, last night. Uh, I think he said it best. He he wanted to join the party, and uh, he played at a high. He, he was at a high level um, with our rotations of getting him out. Uh, he asked to stay in, and so whenever a player does that, you know that they're they're going uh, in, in a direction that uh, they're, they're going to help you know help you win and put your team in a position to win. And, uh, that's just who he is. He's a pro, and again. When you look at his career, he doesn't have too many bad back-to-back -back games. Um, there was a play that like, stood out when uh, Luca and Kyrie kind of had a two-man sequence, like Kyrie screen for Luca and he pulled, uh, Luca pulled up and knocked him down. Uh, what have you kind of seen from them in like, two-man situations so far early on? Yeah, I think uh, just the gravity and also the ability uh, for uh, Kai. He's, he loves to screen. He, he's not afraid to screen. Uh, to get someone open or to play the game, uh, and so uh, it's only I think seven games. So they again, uh, as this season continues, to get those guys in a little bit more pick and roll, just to see what the defense is going to do, um, and then also it just creates a, a problem because of the gravity of the double team. Uh, are you going to double team off of Kai uh, onto Luca, and now Kai's playmaking skills and also shooting skills are just to his advantage. Uh, to start the fourth quarter, I think uh, there was a 15-0 uh, run from the Sixers. Uh, what did you kind of see during that stretch uh, from that uh, like Kyrie uh, non luka lineup? Yeah, it was a tough lineup to watch. 15-0 uh, run. It was just like the uh, Lakers game in the sense of uh, turnovers, live ball turnovers. Uh, it went from a 19-point lead to a 10 uh, there in two minutes. And so we just have to do a better job of taking care of the ball um, and then defensively, it's hard to guard live ball turnovers uh, with no one back on, on defense. And then the other part is we, we're giving up too many and ones, uh, not just three point shots, but the and ones do count as three points. And so uh, we got to do a better job of not fouling. Do you see maybe um, Kyrie still getting comfortable with like all the nuances of this team's offense, maybe uh, still being um, have a factor in some of those uh, those runs or things of that nature? Uh, I don't know if it's his comfort level. We also, I think, uh, Holiday had a wide open three in the corner that we didn't make. Uh, the turnovers led to uh, points. Um, it's not always uh, just a comfort level. It's, you know, missed shot, turnovers, uh, fouls uh, that can lead to a run. Um, and then also Kai trusting his teammates of continuing to run the offense. 
I think Kai is, is comfortable. I think with the offense, it's just getting comfortable with the guys out on the floor still. What have you seen out of Justin in these uh, two plus weeks since he's been here? I know he had the five threes against San Antonio. Yeah, I think he's a, a true pro. Uh, we wanted to see him in the starting lineup. We put him uh, out there as, as soon as possible to see how he would react to that. I, we all believe he's been great for us. We all believe that he's going to help us. He gives us depth at the wing. And then also being able to play the big wing and then capable uh, three-point shooter. And then also, you know, just a pro. Uh, he's going to be a positive uh, energy and in, in, uh, on the floor and off the floor, and that's what we need. Doreen, so you've been back, uh, I guess, one game. When you look at Phoenix, with how they are now and how they are maybe going to be, you see this as another uh, measure to take game for you guys? Yeah, uh, they all are. <laughs> Uh, but they're different than the, than the last uh, three times we played them. Um, and now looking at Durant, well, they play Chicago tonight, um, so that'll be a second game. So you just they got they got uh, all stars, you know, at three positions, or I should say, could be four with Aiden. Um, you look at uh, Chris Paul, Book, and Aiden, and, and KD. They're they're really good and they're well coached. And so um, this is going to be a good test for us back for two games. What have you seen with well, the crowd response when he came back, and then what has he done to this, this team's morale? Yeah, I think uh, it's really helped the team. Um, you know, uh, the beauty of that is we got to see him a little bit before the crowd uh, uh, or the two games, and uh, everybody was excited when he, you know, he started to get uh, cleared to be able to play five on five. Just his uh, his IQ, his ability to stretch the, the defense, and then defensively just covering up and being able to guard in the post, or if someone gets beat, being there to help. And so uh, the guys are really happy that he's back. I just appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, guys.